Hi, my name is Craig Lloyd, CEO of the Murrindindi Shire Council. Thanks for tuning in to Council's special video update for Sunday the 24th of May. Finally, some good news to share for businesses in the community with announcements this morning by the Premier of some further easing of restrictions. The Premier described these changes as gradual, safe easing of restrictions to continue to protect us. Please remember that the changes I'm going to describe still require social distancing, hygiene standards and limits based on space. The Premier announced changes coming into effect on three different dates and from 11.59pm on Monday the 25th of May tomorrow, playgrounds, outdoor gyms and skate parks can reopen. Council staff will be working their way around these locations over the next two days to remove fencing and signs. We will also commence removing fencing around public tables and chairs. However, barbecues will at this point remain taped and turned off, and that's in line with the Chief Health Officer's advice. A significant number of important changes will then come into effect from 11.59pm on Sunday the 31st of May, so realistically from the 1st of June. These include private gatherings can increase to a total of 20 people in a house, including members of the household, Public gatherings indoor and outdoor increase to 20 people. Weddings will be able to have 20 people plus the celebrant and couple. Funerals will be able to have 50 people indoors and outdoors plus the number of people reasonably required to conduct the service. Private worship and small religious ceremonies will be increased to a maximum of 20 people plus the people reasonably required to conduct the service. Non-contact outdoor sporting activities can have up to 20 people plus the instructor. And as previously announced, cafes, restaurants and pubs can reopen uh, for dine-in with up to 20 people per separate space. However, a reminder that space requirements do apply and full guidelines for these premises are due to be released by the state tomorrow. Overnight stays in private residences will be allowed, as will camping and tourist accommodation. However, this is not allowed if there are shared facilities. So really important news there for our caravan parks. Non-food market stalls can reopen. Beauty therapy, tanning, waxing, nails, salons, tattoo parlours and massage parlours can all reopen with up to 20 people. Again, managing those spatial requirements. Community facilities can reopen with up to 20 people in the space. A range of other venues can also reopen and it's best to check the DHHS website for the full details and the requirements as they're released. In regard to Council's facilities, such as our community centres and halls, we will finalise work already well underway to confirm the maximum number of people that will be allowed in each venue based on the size. I'll provide more information on this in the next few days uh, and we will also be advising the managing committees. The Premier also announced that for people that have been working from home, you must remain working from home for the duration of June and during that month a further assessment will be made. It was also announced that subject to case numbers remaining low, particularly community transmission numbers, further easing of restrictions are planned to come into effect on the 22nd of June. Excitingly, the snow season will be allowed to go ahead from that date, albeit with altered arrangements again to ensure spatial distancing. This is fantastic news for our Shire and particularly Marysville and the surrounding towns. Cafes, restaurants and pubs will be allowed to have up to 50 dine-in patrons from that date, again subject to space requirements, but remain alcohol only with food. Indoor recreation, sports centres and gyms will be able to reopen with up to 20 people per single unsubdivided space and up to 10 people per group activity at any one time. Indoor cinemas, concert venues, theatres and the like will be able to reopen with up to 20 seated patrons per space. These measures particularly for the 22nd of June, are very light in detail at this stage and Council will be seeking further information from the State Government to see what this means to our local events and our community centres and halls. So, whilst the easing of measures are great news, there's still some way to go. Please remember that we are still being asked to be considered and cautious, use common sense, and if you don't have to do something, don't do it. I'll bring you a further update tomorrow on what each of the changes means for council services, in particular our customer services and our library services, once we've fully assessed the requirements of the State Government. Please reach out to us if you need assistance or have questions or clarification that you'd like us to follow up with the State Government in relation to your specific circumstance. More detailed information will be provided by the State Government on the specific requirements for each announcement and each industry in the coming week. Have a great weekend. Stay safe.